All right, guys, what's up? Tim Halston with Drag Boss Garage and Mrs. Drag Boss. So happy Labor Day. I'm glad you guys are here. We wanted to make a kind of a quick video to come show you where we're at. But we came back and we were able to fit the 354 Cleveland in without really any issues. I just had to pick it up, center it, and then drop it back down and it went in like a glove. So she's going to put the carburetors on. While she's doing that, I wanted to give a big shout out to Ken Diebold. I met him on the Motorsports and SVO site. I bought these two fender covers from him. Ford Racing Motorsport covers. Pretty cool. And he sent me some of these Motorsport and Motorcraft Racing stickers. So thanks, Ken Diebold. I appreciate it. Yep, you got those on good. So I'll kind of tell you what we're doing. Let me move these over here. So let me show you what it looks like because a picture or a video is worth a thousand words. What do you think of these Holly Dominator guys? <laughs> I love them, man. I'm telling you, nothing looks like a Tunnel Ram Cleveland. This 354 fits just like a glove in this engine compartment. You know, and David Cook had redone those carburetors. They're all ready to go. So we put the 354 Cleveland into the Mustang chassis. Bolts well. You can see the motor mounts are down here. Now, I also put on the first header tube because it's going to need that adapter if I use these headers that's a right angle like the old van adapter. I think Billy Ray Morgan gave me a part number that Motorsport still makes them. So I'd like to buy that and just see how they fit because I'd like to use these headers. They need a little work, but I think we can do it. But it fits well. I said I just got to at least put it in there and see what it looks like because really, I don't know. I like that strip dominator and I'd like to have that on there. But man, I see this. Nothing looks like a Tunnel Ram Cleveland. I'm telling you. What do you think, Andrea? Nice. Mrs. Drag Boss? Nice. Would you drive it with that, looking like that? Well, yeah, then the hood goes over and then you have the scoop. Yep. Would... Yeah. Well, we'll put the hood on and see if it fits because I have no idea. It'd be nice if it fits because we got we to gotta test this. There's no doubt. If not, then. I don't know. Buy a bigger hood scoop. At least at least got to race this Tunnel Rammed. 2-4 Cleveland, you are 19 intake, and that top loader, we got to at least do it. So let me kind of show you in the inside, and then we'll get to the hood. But I pulled the carpet back out, and in this video, you'll see the carpet wherever I put that little section in. All right, guys, I got the new carpet out here on the trailer. It's about 91 degrees. Man, that's forming real nice. Original, the pockets are there where it's supposed to be, so we'll flatten it out a little bit. And that's going to look good. Got that from ACC Carpets from CJ. That's it, CJ Pony Parts. Because I just couldn't work with that old stuff. It just had odors and stains, and I said, forget it. So we have the new carpet in. You can see there, this had the Jericho 4-speed in it. So it's got a tunnel um, plate already, a cover. So we'll see how that top loader fits in. We're going to use these style jazz bucket seats. I called Planted who makes a lot of seat mounts and talked with a guy named Jeff and he's going to work with me and we're going to get the mounts to work with these seats because they have those risers here, which makes a big difference. These seats are too narrow to fit on here, but I put that seat bracket on, which you saw a picture of it and you'll see how that seat will mount right on there. And I, a lot of that is just the way the position of this roll bar. It's a little too in. It should be closer to the door, but at this point it'll be all right. So I'm not sure, I just put this radiator in. This is from the Cougar. I just wanted to see what it looked like to be in there. So let's, Mrs. Drag Boss, let's grab that hood and see if it fits on here. Luckily it's fiberglass, it's not too heavy. So we'll just pick it up. Yep, come forward. Now you see where the hood pins fit in. Yep, I got it. You can see that that's, yeah. Fit in. Yeah. You see. Hmm. And what? I'm wondering if it's really the carburetor hitting rather than the hood scoop. Let's pull this hood scoop off and see. Yeah, see, there's the issue. Oh, wow. Yeah. So that might work. I don't know. See so what you cut a big hole. Yeah, you just have to cut this out a little bit more. See where it comes out. Lift it up a little bit in the front. Let's bring it back. I know. So that could work. So let's 
it's one of those things, I don't know. I can always cut it out of there. You know, it's, these hoods are pretty available. Let's see how it looks back here. Really, it's only about, it only needs to come out about this far. So I at least gotta trim it, because it doesn't matter. With a, if I put the single four barrel on, it makes no difference if this is cut out a little bit more. You know, the air filter is still. Because that covers it. Yeah. So let's show the guys what it looks like. It's hard to see from that angle. All right, guys, let me show you a better view of what it looks like. You saw us put the hood on and you see that it doesn't fit well. And this is why right here. So really, I just have to trim this out, bring it out like this. And I bet you that'll fit down there. Now, whether it's too close to the scoop, I don't know, but I'm gonna cut it out anyways, just to see how it fits on there. I think it might fit with that hood scoop the way it is, because the height it is, when we put it on, it had some clearance here between mm -hmm. it. Thanks for watching Drag Boss Garage. You're always seeing and learning something new at Drag Boss Garage. Hello! Hello, everybody! What's up, Bossettes? I figured I'd just give the guys a quick peek at the pool since probably this is the last day we're going to be swimming, huh, Mrs. Drag Boss? I think so. I'm done. Wait, Dad. Yes, dear. Oh, me and my dad. No Watch this. Okay. Nice. Very good. I have a cool trick. All right, hurry up. I, wanna, I, I have to do two real quick. I have to put it on my unit. We're burning up cell time. Ready? Go. Yep. Yep. Cut what part out, her? No, when we're waiting. Oh, yeah. Ready, Dad? Yeah. Oh, that's great. Bye.